Alright guys, this is Julia and today in this video, I am going to show you what happens when you st restore to a virtual machine snapshot in which the build number is expired. So, I had to restore the snapshot because my Windows 10, when I updated to the latest preview builds, um, it basically got corrupt, my computer maxed out on RAM because the program goofed up and and my computer kept doing it, but once I finally um um once I finally updated the program, it finally started, you know, cooperating again. So even when it was trying to restore the previous build, because it did that automatically, um, it froze in the middle of it a few times. So the OS kind of got corrupt because I couldn't update to the latest build. It kept giving me an error. It kept saying my settings are wrong. And when I told it to fix, it said something went wrong and gave me some error code. I think it was like error code 0x8007005. And I think that's a permission error, or access denied or something. I don't know why it was doing that. But it said my insider settings needed attention and... I needed to fix it in order to get builds, but when I tried to fix it, it wouldn't let me. So, I restored to the snapshot, which is, as you can see, the working Windows 10 upgrade from 8.1. So, I used one of my old Windows 10 ISOs and just upgraded it from 8.1. And then after I did it, I made a snapshot. So, if something went wrong, I could go back to it at any time. Like this goof up. Um, and little did I know, this build expired. It expired on the 15th of October. And go figure, it's the 22nd. So it expired exactly eight days ago. So what a shame. And I think that's actually when the last build came out. But what a shame. It happened to expire that soon when I really needed that image. It was just a, eight days before. I wouldn't have had this issue. So yes, when it restores, it's still booted up in the environment. It doesn't, like, reboot. It's, like, just in the same environment it was as soon as you made the image. So, I'm still booted into it, even though it's expired. So, I did pull up system properties and notice that the uh, Windows activation is no longer activated. So, it deactivated. I didn't think that's because the build expired. And then, and the product ID is not available for some odd reason. I'll try to activate element not found Ooh, element not found i think that's pretty bad if you like try to do it and it says that let me get a snapshot of that real fast because this other monitor it's very bad okay element not found that's bad i think because the build is so corrupt because i don't know it's expired so nothing's running it's allowing nothing to run anymore so, that's a nasty error. Anything you click. Oh, see? There you go, guys. So, I am going to take a screenshot of that because that's really weird. Okay. You see, the system project community, a required certificate within its, is not within its validity period when, when verifying against the current system clock. Ooh, that means... <laughs> the build is expired, guys. That's what that means. So, in other words, I c this whole machine is unusable. Literally, unusable. Even though it looks like it's fine, it's not. Nothing works anymore. I can't go in any apps. I can't go in the settings. I can't go in a single thing. The reason why? The build expired. And what the heck was that? I don't know. So, not, surprisingly, the file explorer opens. Oh my gosh, Microsoft Edge element not found. Um, element not found for that either. And I think that means, I don't know, something bad. So, in other words, nothing works. So, what happens if we reboot this machine? Is it going to be unbootable? Well, first of all, let me just see if I can personalize. Oh, I can't because it's not activated. Um, but it's probably not even going to open. See? Surprisingly, Cortana works.
So. Oh, something nasty. It says event viewer. Let's try to go there. Ooh. Same thing. See, this looks like the whole... It looks like I destroyed it. Like, deleted stuff. That This is what this looks like. So. Absolutely nothing opens. Well, system opens for some odd reason. And that opens, too. But. Some of these things are opening. Like, the control panel is letting us open it. Oh, it does have the guest editions. Mmm. But nothing's in the control panel. Okay. That's cool. So let's just try to reboot. But before we do that, let's just try to run. No, run works. And let's try, um, like, what's a command? CMD. Oh, it works that way. Okay, you want to run stuff, you can run from there. But anyways, let's reboot and see what happens. Now, it's probably, obviously, you probably already know what's going to happen. It's not going to boot up, that's right. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm going to have to reinstall 8.1 again and upgrade from that again. And then enable insider builds and start over in order to see the new builds. Because my snapshot expired because the build expired. Oops. I uh, should have used a newer build. I don't know why I didn't use the RTM of Windows 10. Why didn't I use that? To be honest, I have no clue. Um, okay, what was that? Alright, let's see what happens. <gasps> Did we destroy it? Oh, okay. That's what happens. It needs to be repaired. A component in the, op of the operating system is expired. And it has... um. File winload.exe, and there's a year code. If you look that up, it probably says it expired. So, ugh, darn it. So, we can't try again. And F8, I can't push because my computer has the keys associated with different things on the computer itself. And the on screen keyboard won't open. So, I don't know. I try to open it, and it wouldn't open. So, I don't know. So, yeah, it's not going to work. So, warning, guys, make another snapshot of the newer builds so don't just make one make more than one because you may go back to a too old one to where it won't even work anymore and I looked up the Windows 10 expire dates and I'm going to look it up again and show you guys um so if I pull this up again and I go here, you do notice for the expire dates, I think it was 10166 and it just expired. Just expired. Go figure. It expired. It's done. So that's what happens. So now I have to reinstall it again. Oh, whoop de doo. You can see it doesn't even have C, it just has slash windows. Weird. Hmm. Well, thanks for watching. That's what happens. It will completely, if you were to leave your computer on the whole entire time or make a snapshot like I did and just let it sit there until the expire date, you guys will see what happens. And that's exactly what happens. If you guys were wondering, it'll stop working at all even if you're still using the operating system. Even if it's still booted up, it'll stop working because nothing will work. So, kind of crazy how... You can't use a beta forever. Um, this happened on one of my other computers. I had the old build on or something. I tried to boot it up, and this happened. Oops. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you guys won't make the same mistake I did. Because, let me tell you, you always learn from your mistakes. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I won't, I won't do that again. I won't do that again. Because, ugh, that's annoying. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and bye-bye for now. And Darn it! It ha should have expired. Why? <laughs> Alright, bye-bye.